consider being a mentor on this program and would you do it again? So why I want to be a mentor is um, I have passion for young people. I, I'm a person who grew up without all the resources that can make me to be successful. So I know the pain of growing up without resources. So what I'm trying to do is to help to reach out to those people, because what I've discovered is that uh, if you don't have, it doesn't mean that you can't do it. But if you're given a good platform, every person can actually make it. Um, and what is your experience of having um, a mentee being like? Can you touch on that relationship between the mentor and the men mentee? Uh, as the mentor, you, you come in with your experience, you come in with your guidance, you come in with your area of expertise. And the mentee, these are people, some of them, the majority of them based on the uh, demographics, they were young people, but some of them, they were old people. But what I've observed is that the young people who are passionate uh, to make an impact in terms of how things need to be done. So me now as a mentor, that's where I was there to guide them uh, using my expertise. As, as far as I'm concerned, I'm an expert in marketing and sustainability. So I was helping them in terms of how best they can actually uh, strategize and how best they can actually reach out to the customers. Okay, and then what was it like witnessing the journey of your mate, uh, your mentee, your mentees, and how much more would you like to see them learning? So just on your journey, and how much would you like to see them learning? Right. Uh, so when we started in terms of our uh, our mentorship program, it was more pertaining to the issue of uh, setting objectives to set, OK, you're running your business. So what are your objectives and also helping them to understand, to carry out what is called environmental analysis, to understand the business platform and where do they fit and also teach them to formulate business objectives that are tangible in terms of where they intend to go and also assist them in terms of uh, uh, understanding the fundamental of business like profitability, like a customer share, a market share, like also the aspects of training and also the aspects of operation system that they can use as they are running their business. OK, so Eric, I think, um, you know, what, what we would like to know from you is, you know, um, through this journey, um, what did you learn in the mentorship program and, and how do you plan on, on implementing what you learned, um, you know, throughout your career now? <laughs> well, um, I am laughing and smiling at the same time. Um, I learned the most key fundamental thing, which is accountability, planning, and execution. Uh, those are the three main things that I've learned. And um, because me and my mentor, Ms. Nomisa, we would uh, have a weekly, we started with a monthly, once and once a month uh, sessions and then weekly sessions. So per week, I know I have to go back and account to, 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 to the mentor and say, this is what I, ha I have done. This is what I did not do. And also the most important uh, uh, mental thing was transparency. Be more transparent, be more vulnerable to, to, to the mentor so that they can know your, 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 your strength, your weaknesses and um, how they can be able to improve and uh, develop you further as, 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 as a mentee. OK, awesome. Edward, um, I'm not sure if you're there on the line with me. Um, perhaps maybe you could also share um, you know, some of your experience through the program and um, what, what have you learned and, and what are you currently implementing? Uh, I've learned that uh, you have to be patient uh, because uh, some things take time to come to you. So as Patrick, our, main, uh, our mentor, he was always advising us that uh, some things take time uh, you can you can you can get what you want in life, but you have to try. He was giving us tasks to like go to different companies, ask them to work with them, even if it, it might be a week. Uh, some of the companies allowed us, some they were rejecting us. But yeah, I've learned that uh, the program really helped me because I, I, I was like giving up. So each and every time we met in a month, uh, everyone will come up with, with a story, with a great story. Uh, like 
they, they will advise us not to give up. That's what yeah. I've learned. And then I've, yeah. I've been doing that until now. I, I've got something at least. No, that's great. And uh, tell me, gentlemen, I know Tundarai mentioned something earlier, which was, um, you know, he, he, he said he taught his, his group about the value of networking. Is, is that something that you have started doing? Um, and, and how is it working out for you guys? It really worked for me because now I, I'm working. You can see I met work. So, okay. yeah, I was really networking and then I found something that is better. Wonderful. And Eric, yourself, how's the networking going? Um, I'm going to answer it in, in this answer that he once uh, said to me. Your network is equal to your net worth. So, um, it, it, networking is it is the power of growing. It's the power of 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 of, of expanding. Uh, so, for me, networking it, it, it's really working because um, I was also once featured in an international publication uh, in the U.S. through networking. I also went into top seven of uh, the business plan competition 2021-2022. Uh, um, also now completed uh, entrepreneurship uh, capitalization with the University of Pretoria. And uh, through that, it's, it's, a part, it's a part of net, uh, a network that I am uh, I'm proud to say I, I have. And uh, networking also, if you can't network as an entrepreneur, um, you can't um, grow your roots. So for your roots in the business to grow and to be nourished, you have to go through to, to different types of networks. And the other thing that I realized in this networking uh, point of view is that you, you must not expect everybody to say yes. Expect 99% to say no to what you, uh, you're trying to, to bring on the table. Um, just that one percent will will make you will make you to 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 realize the the value and the potential and the impact you will be doing. One thing that I've learned in 2017 when I was in a leadership uh, pro program, um, the ripples of change are, are part of the they are inculcated within the the, the networking uh, point of view. Thank you. This journey has been quite beneficial to the both of you. Um, Basically, would you recommend mentorship um, to to other other professionals, um, and and why? It's a big yes. Um, I'm looking forward just uh, I'm looking forward also to become a mentor uh, in the in the Print SA National National Mentorship Program. Um, I think by December everything on my side will be settled um, because what I believe is that. Um, to, to become a mentor, you also have to be resourceful in terms, in terms of intellectually and otherwise. So um, I'm just saying yes, and I would recommend it to, 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 to somebody else to, to, to come. Actually, I'm recommending it to, to some of the people that I've engaged with uh, currently to, to, to come and uh, be part of this particular uh, mentorship program. Um, because for me, it has made made an impact, a positive impact. And I wish that the day I started the business, um, uh, that was the first day I, I got the mentor uh, that I have now. Um, it would have been the, the greatest thing because I think I could have been a, a billionaire by now. Yeah, I could have been a billionaire by now. Thanks. Well done, well done. And um, Eddie, your, from your point of view, um, something you would recommend to to other professionals and and youth uh it's a it's a it's a big yes it's a big yes because uh you are your influence will play a very important part in other people's life whatever you are seeing whatever you are giving advice to other people really plays an important role because at the end of the day remember whatever advice or whatever you are, you are telling other people what to do, not not giving up and everything like that. Uh, that person really is really looking out from you. So I'll recommend it. 